Patrick Chinamasa is a man on a mission to raise money and he plans on doing it the way he knows best. We never run out of areas to tax. With a widening fiscal deficit and a shrinking formal sector, he's extending his revenue collection bowl to the growing informal sector. Once I know and I become aware of a thriving sector, I have to look at it to see what revenue I can raise from that, uh, that, that sector. A new finance act has introduced taxes on public transport operators and hairdressers amongst other informal businesses. Players in the informal sector deliberately operate below the radar and out of the glare of the authorities. And that's why efforts to extract a tax here have previously had limited success. It's not clear how this new approach will be rolled out to generate the desired revenue. The move has not gone down well with traders. Nothing for us without us. They should have come and consulted us first and also to see how much are we making a day before they pick the tax. An expert I spoke to says the sector's contribution is unlikely to make a huge difference on the government's finances. When you actually uh, increase taxes on them or impose taxes on them, you're actually making it even more difficult uh, for them to actually to, to survive. When you look at our, at our tax regime, it's, um, it's all really overburdens economic agents in general. So that really discourages uh, uh, business, uh, uh, even our tax code, uh, it's a bit complicated. So I think what we need is a simplified uh, uh, and even a lowering uh, of the already high uh, tax burden so that we actually encourage businesses. We even encourage uh, even th those guys in the former to formalize their businesses. The finance minister says he won't impose punitive levies that could discourage investment. Farai Mokutuya, CGTN. Harare, Zimbabwe.